No More Pod. Does this mean the shop is done? No, not by a long shot. But I was able to clear up enough space within the shop or garage so I could bring the boxes I was storing stuff in and some of my mobile power tools back into the shop, out of the pod. Some of the things went into my shed that are not really not affected by temperature and moisture changes. So that's where we are. I have the room, everything's in here. The pod's gone away, that's no longer being paid for. More money for the shop. And um, the next thing I want to do is start hanging my clamps. Uh, we pared down our clamps to the ones we use all the time. We got rid of the clamps we never use. So let's go hang some clamps on the back wall near where the drill press is going to be. Oh, where it's going to be? Uh, you'll note in the video the drill press is gone, the new one. There's a story behind that and I'll relate that story in a later video. But right now I want to build some racks and hang some clamps. That almost rhymes. As I pointed out in previous videos, this is about where the clamps are going to go here. Um, this might move to the other side of the drill press, I'm not sure. The new drill press, when it gets here, there will be another unboxing, is, is right here. So that gives me a, a kind of a dividing line between things. I'd like to be able to put all of my um, routers and things like that right here. I don't have a huge collection of them in little boxes with all their wrenches and everything. So uh, long clamps and then shorter clamps and then shorter clamps over here. So let's look at the clamp collection that we have settled on for what we need to do when we're working and building stuff in our shop. Here's the clamps we're dealing with. So I've got a bunch of these uh, Jorgensen F-style clamps and like I said earlier they're not going to be mounted this way along the wall, or I say this way along the wall. They're going to be mounted this way coming out from the wall. That saves space and allows for more stuff to go in there. Then I have a small selection of these uh, panel clamps. They're by Clamping Guide. These guys are no longer in business, uh, but Infinity Tool makes the equivalent of these now. This is a uh, clamp for doing flat panels. You put it on your workbench and it clamps between these two here and here and um, these are really really convenient for doing that. Gives you a good even pressure. We got uh, two each of the 24 inch, the 30 inch and the 50 inch of those. Then we have the four of the long Bessies and four of the short Bessies. I can't remember, the, I think this is a 36 and a 24 of the Bessie parallel clamps. And then we have, we decided, we were deciding whether to keep these or not. We decided to keep them. This is a double-sided clamp. What do you need a double-sided clamp for? Well, this portion here can clamp to your workbench and give you a nice, solid, non-moving surface to clamp to. And then you can do clamping on top of that. So uh, it holds the clamp in place on the workbench so it doesn't move. And then you can put whatever you're gluing up. Again, this is really good for doing panel clamping. If you clamp these down to the workbench, put your panels on top of here, and then put the, the other ones on top, it gives you even pressure top and bottom, back and forth, upside down. Then, making noise, I know these are going to fall over. We have a good selection of uh, these uh, crimp clamps, uh, and these are very, 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 very convenient for all the small work we do. And these will be probably, you know, over here somewhere. And again, these are going to come out from the wall this way. They're not going to be going along the wall this way, saving space. Then we have uh, C-clamps, a bunch of C-clamps. Now, there's an old expression about woodworking that says you can never have enough clamps. Well, yes and no. Depends on the kind of work you do, what kind of shop you have. But where that, uh, that old saying really holds true is in boat building. Uh, two pictures here of 
What is it like to need a lot of clamps to build a boat? And this is just putting the gunnels on one of them. So that's it. I'm gonna, I gotta clean off the table saw so I can start cutting things up and making them. I'm gonna move the big one over here for the, for the pipe clamps, put them back up here, and then start mounting clamps as I go along. Um, let's see how this goes. Here's the second one. Obviously the first one is here. This is for the long Bessie clamps. It's very simple. Like I said before, there's no right, right way or wrong way. Whatever works for you in your shop with your tools is the right way. So what I have here is um, one piece of uh, three-quarter plywood. The cleat is in place. Everything is glued and screwed. And the two boards that hold the cleats, I mean the, uh, the clamps on, uh, on top. And if I put this next to the uh, the, 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 this particular uh, holder, it stops against that cleat. So it's, it's kind of, uh, um, takes up a little more space than I want. So I move down one and slide it over and it goes underneath it. So now it's tighter. That's part of the, part of the, um, the space saving I've got going on here. And then the clamps just mount right up. Now the little ones, oops, yeah, I've lost one of the little rubber things. I gotta, I've got i ordered a new one. I think it'll work from off Amazon. So the, the, the little ones can either go here, but then I'm kind of hiding plugs here. But if I go up to the top and put it in, it'll be over about here, but I'm not covering up these plugs. So that's where the little ones are going to go. Let's make that, make that holder now. And this is what I meant by infinite combinations and infinite diversity. No, that's not what I meant. That's, that's Star Trek. This is what I meant by um, infinite adjustability. I had to make some adjustments. I had to cut the ears off of these, move this over a little bit. This one goes on top for the smaller ones now, and this one for the longer ones goes here between the plugs. So now, when I mount the smaller ones up, And there it goes, like so. And of course, the one that is missing the stopper, if I can get it to jam, I don't know. Oh well, I'll take care of it later. But there it is, right up there. So there are my long and short Bessies and my uh, pipe clamps and now the Jorgies are going to start going here, and again, they're going to be mounted this way, coming out. The most of them are all the same size. I've got a few, a few that are shorter, uh, and I'm going to mount those there. Um, I might move them over and put something else right here. But you get the general idea of how this is working. Like I said, this could change. Uh, I may have to move things around a little bit to make them work. I got a place for clamps up here for small clamps. So um, we'll call this a done video. And uh, hopefully my next video will have a lot of this done. And I'll go through all the, pro the things that I did and how I made them. So I'll tend to tell next time, make great things out of wood. <laughs>